welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Savannah and I am the owner and operator of Pause and Relax Mobile Pet Grooming. I make videos here on YouTube about grooming, how you can get into the career, some tips and tricks from the industry, dog videos for owners, and also a little bit about my personal life and my family. Today, I have a very exciting video for you guys. I'm going to be featuring two products from a brand that I have been loving for the past two years. Now, two years ago, I purchased a CBD shampoo from Petals and Tails, and I did a review on my channel using Gracie. Today, I'm going to do a full review on a shampoo that's infused with CBD oil. In this video, I was still working out of a Wagon Tails van when I was working for someone else. I didn't even have my DIY build yet. Now, I loved that product so much. I would highly recommend this. If you want to watch that video, I will link it in the eye and also link it down below. But I loved the lavender CBD shampoo that I used on Gracie so much. I wanted to sell it on my website. I wanted to feature more of the products for you guys. I may actually start selling it on my website. But unfortunately, when I reached out to the company, they were having trouble at that time shipping to Canada and I couldn't even get more of the shampoo for myself. Now in that video, I also mentioned that I wanted to try this shampoo on Rufus. Actually, next time I bath my family's dog Rufus, he suffers with a lot of skin issues and paw licking, that sort of thing. I'm gonna bath him in this and maybe make a follow-up video to this and let you guys know what I think of it. Now you have seen Rufus on my channel before. It is my parents' Shih Tzu and he struggles with yeast, allergies, he's always very itchy. And I will insert some clips from some of the videos I've put up on my channel of grooming him. He suffers with yeast problems, skin issues, and reoccurring ear infections. So today, we're starting with a bath on him, getting him all hooked up. The shampoo that I'm going to be using on him is the Petals and Tails Lavender. This actually has CBD oil in it. We have tried shampoos from the vet that are formulated for skin problems, but honestly, his skin reacts the best to this shampoo. Now, because I wasn't able to order in this shampoo to Canada, I have made this CBD shampoo last for two years, only using it on Rufus, because it is the only shampoo that has worked with his skin, it actually soothes his skin. Now, Today, I'm going to be featuring this shampoo and also a hydrating misting spray that is in place of conditioner. In my first video, I talked about how they didn't have a conditioner yet and let them know that I would be very interested in trying a conditioner from them as well that's also infused with the CBD. They should get a conditioner. This is in place of a conditioner. So I'm so excited to try this out. And why I'm finally featuring this on my channel is because they have no issues shipping to Canada anymore. Before we get into the details of these products, I just want to thank Petals and Tails for partnering with me today on this video. If you are interested in purchasing any of the products I talk about today or any products on their website, you can use my code 15 pause for 15% off of your order. You can find their website down below. Now I will also mention that they have other products that have CBD in them. They have oil that your pet can take that can help your dog or cat with anxiety, inflammation, pain, lots of cancer patients take CBD oil. They have treats with CBD, they have peanut butter with CBD, they have paw balm. I am going to be getting into those products in future videos. Some of them will be first impressions. Some of them I've used on my dogs before. I give Boomer the Petals and Tails CBD oil and I'll talk about how that has changed the game for us. Also, Rufus has been taking it for a while. But today I am just going to be featuring the shampoo and the hydrating mist. Now, I've been using the lavender shampoo for two years now. Absolutely love it. But I now also have the Pure and White peony that I tested out on Sophie and I now as you can see this is completely empty I've got a little bit left I've been stretching this out but when they reached out to me and said we can finally ship to Canada no issue I was so freaking excited you guys 
Okay, so these are screenshots of how many times I reached out to the company to see if they were shipping to Canada yet. I'm excited, guys. I'm going to pull up my phone and we're going to get into why this hemp CBD shampoo is superior to other shampoos. I want to read some stuff directly off their website so that I don't miss anything. Now, they do have other scents other than these two that I'm featuring today. And I will be popping up some screen recordings of their website so you can kind of see what it looks like and the other scents that they offer. So let's see. Okay, also before I get into the details about the shampoo, then we'll move on to the misting spray. Um, I want to apologize. It has taken me a while to get this collaboration out. There's been lots going on in my life behind the scenes, which I might get into in the future, but I just want to thank both you guys and Petals and Tails of being so, so patient with me. I um, promise in the future, I will not be this bad. First of all, I want to mention these shampoos are safe for dogs and cats over six weeks old. Um, and now that they ship to Canada, I'm going to be ordering gallons of this and offering it as an add-on service for the pets in my van that struggle with skin issues. So each of their hypoallergenic and natural shampoos come with hemp seed oil, aloe vera, oatmeal extract, avocado oil, coconut oil, and distinct fresh and floral extracts. Now, the first thing that I want to point out is that their fragrances are natural, no chemical based um, fragrances, and also they do not add any dyes. These shampoos are clear, which I love. I'm going to do a breakdown of some of the main ingredients in all of their shampoos. So the hemp seed oil, it can make your pet's coat soft and shiny. It also acts as a healing oil for dogs with psoriasis, eczema, and other skin rashes while relieving itchiness and dryness. It is a perfect balance of omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids, which is great for skin absorption. The oatmeal, which lots of us groomers already know, and probably some of you guys at home, moisturizes and soothes itchy skin, helps relieve symptoms of allergies, dry skin, hot spots, helps clean and soften a pet's coat. Aloe vera helps hydrate the skin and coat, has anti-inflammatory effects, and as we all know, aloe vera is very soothing for our skin, and it is for dogs and cats as well. Coconut oil helps to clear up skin conditions such as eczema, flea allergies, contact dermatitis, and itchy skin. It also reduces allergic reactions and improves skin's health while leaving your pet's fur soft and glossy. Now, coconut oil is actually something I already recommend to my clients for dogs that have dry patches on their skin. You can apply directly on there, dry noses, dry pads. It's safe for them to lick off and ingest. And then lastly, avocado oil contains vitamin E and omega-3 fatty acids, which decrease inflammation in the body while also acting as a great moisturizer for the skin. Now, are you guys sensing a theme with these ingredients? All very hydrating, soothing, great for allergies, itchiness, dryness, etc. Now, even if your dog doesn't struggle with these type of skin issues, that's okay. These shampoos are going to be great to keep those things at bay, but also keep a really healthy, shiny, moisturized coat. So also, if your pets are dealing with more dry fur, these are great shampoos for your pets. So I've gone through the main ingredients that are in every single one of their shampoos. Now those sound great, right? You're probably thinking, what are the other ingredients in these shampoos? I'm going to pop them up on the screen as I read them, but something I wanna let you guys know and is a problem in the grooming industry that many people don't really know about is, I don't know the term for it, but there are some companies that buy bases to shampoos and then add in a few of their ingredients, but they don't even know what is in the base of their shampoo. So when you reach out to the company, they don't actually know every single ingredient in their shampoo. 
Hey guys, editing Savannah here. I just wanted to pop on and say I found out about this because this actually happened with one of my clients. So the dog's dad had very specific allergies, sensitive to scents, etc. So we figured out in the brand of shampoos that I was using, he was okay with the oatmeal shampoo. So I would always use just the oatmeal. One time I bathed the dog in the oatmeal shampoo. I had bought a new gallon of it, same brand, company, everything. He had a huge allergic reaction. So I found out later on that that brand buys bases and then adds in some ingredients like the oatmeal to it. So what I suspect is that their base was changed. Maybe they bought the base from a different company and my customer reacted to it. This is a situation that could also happen with your dog's or cats as well. Now Petals and Tails is very transparent. They do not buy bases and then just add in CBD. They make all of their shampoos from scratch so every ingredient on this bottle is only what's in here. Since in a previous video I've already gone over the ingredients of the Lavender Fields Forever, today we are going to be reading the ingredients of the Pure and White Peony Hemp Infused pH balanced, all, natu all natural CBD pet shampoo. Now this is eight ounces. Um, you can also get this, I think in a size bigger than this. And for groomers looking to purchase, you can also buy gallons of this as well. I will mention that this company is both for groomers or just pet parents at home, which is awesome. Um, this allows pet parents to get a good quality shampoo that your groomers use. So getting into the ingredients, purified water, sodium cocoa sulfate, which is derived from coconut oil, laurel glucoside, derived from coconut oil, cocoa beltane, which is derived from coconut oil, vegetable glycerin, aloe vera, PCR hemp oil, which is 50 milligrams per bottle, potassium sorbate, which is food grade freshness assurer, sea salt, avocado oil, oatmeal extract, hemp seed oil, coconut oil, peony extract, natural fragrance. Petals and Tails products do not contain any harsh chemicals, artificial dyes or colors, or parabens. It is safe to use daily if needed. Do not use on puppies or kittens of six weeks or younger. Consult your veterinarian before using any product on your pet. Keep out of reach of children. And yeah. Because it is natural extracts, those can help your pets in different ways as well. So if you are wondering what scent of shampoo is going to work the best for your pet, they actually offer free consultations. So when you are on their shampoo page, you can scroll through. There's a section where you can click to request a consult and chat with them live on their website, which I think is absolutely amazing. Now the price point on these eight ounce bottles is $30. Now I know that seems very pricey, but I will say that the shampoo is concentrated. You don't have to mix it with water, but I suggest you do use a lot of water to get a good lap. You'll see that in the review video. It's lathering pretty good. The scent isn't too strong, which I like. Feels like a normal shampoo to me. I noticed when I was rinsing off the shampoo on her first side, it got really soapy. So if you feel like you're using a lot of the shampoo, I would say just add more water so you can spread that shampoo over a little bit. And also when I do the demo on Sophie, Okay, so for Sophie's demo, I'm just going to do her in my bathtub. In case you are a pet parent, you're going to be using this on your dog or cat at home. I'm going to show you how you can do that. So first, I am just taking a solo cup and thoroughly wetting her fur. Then I'm going to use the Peony shampoo and delicately massage for three minutes as the bottle states. So Sophie's getting a nice face massage here. Now you want to make sure to follow the three minute massage time so that the benefits don't just benefit her coat but also gets down to her skin as well. Now you can see me adding more water. I am not rinsing yet. I am adding more water on top of the shampoo. And as you can see, I am massaging and you're gonna get a really good lather now. So make sure that that shampoo stays on for three minutes. 
Once that three minutes is up, I'm going to be using fresh water to rinse her thoroughly. No matter what kind of shampoo you are using, you want to make sure it's all out so it doesn't create any irritation on their skin. And I don't know if you guys can see, but look how dirty the water is coming off of Sophie. This shampoo lasts you a long time. I've been doing Rufus's baths for two years with this and I'm just finally at the very end of this. There's maybe one more bath left in this. For that $30, you are getting CBD oil in this, 50 milligrams. You are getting very high quality ingredients. And also if you're a groomer thinking $30 for only this, sometimes I pay $30 for like a gallon. This is an upsell. So. I wouldn't be using this on every single dog. I would be using this and I'm going to be using this on dogs with skin issues, charging a $10 additional fee. Okay, so next I need to talk about testing. If you are looking into any CBD product for your pet, this is something you need to look for is that the company does third party testing to make sure that the dosaging is correct of the CBD. Now, Petals and Tails is very transparent about their testing. I'm gonna read this directly off the website so that I don't get any of this wrong. You can see all of their testing on their website. They test by batch, etc. I'm gonna get into that because I don't wanna mess this up for you guys. Petals and Tails is dedicated to always using the highest quality ingredients, always third-party testing their products and making sure their products are effective and safe for your pets. Each batch is tested by a third-party independent lab to ensure everything is as it should be and our products also contain scannable stickers to look up the specific lab test on your phone or computer. Now that is absolutely amazing that every batch is tested and you can look up those test results. You can rest assured you can use these products on your pets. With our quality assurance process, we test the potency of our supplies and products both before and after production and the high quality grade hemp supplied to us from an FDA regulated hemp farm in Oregon, USA is once again, third party tested to ensure it makes our high standards for safety and potency. Okay, how amazing is that? So now that we've covered a lot about the shampoo, I think I've covered everything. Um, Everything I haven't covered should be covered in the clips that I'm going to insert of the demos. Now we are going to be moving into the Pure and White Peony Hydrating Misting Spray. First of all, it's in the most beautiful bottle. Look at this. So sleek. Now this retails for $28. Again, the coupon code will be down in the description so you can get a percentage off your order. Now, first let's read the ingredients in this. Ingredients are coconut oil, jojoba oil, real peony extract, FS hemp oil, natural peony fragrance, and that's it. The directions, use after bathing while your pet is still damp, apply two to three sprays or as needed onto your hands, rub your hands for a few seconds, and then gently massage the oil into your pet's coat and then if you're a groomer, you go in with your high velocity dryer. Unfortunately, the clip of me putting the spray on Sophie, it wasn't recording. But all I did was follow the directions exactly on the bottle and then started using my high velocity dryer. In this next clip, I am really trying to show you guys how shiny and soft and clean her fur is. This combo is amazing. I wish I would have taken a clip out in the sun just to show how shiny she is. Sophie does really struggle with dandruff and dry skin and I feel like this combo really helped. If you do have a longer haired cat or dog and you're worried about not using a traditional conditioner, you can also use that as well and just use this hydrating mist as a topper to add extra hydration and it also adds the most beautiful scent as well. Honestly, the combo of the shampoo and hydrating mist are amazing. What I love about this is that there is no 
chemical fragrances added to this everything is natural and honestly i haven't been using any finishing sprays or like perfumes on my dogs because lots of the ones that are sold have those chemical fragrances and they aren't good for both us and our pets to inhale also our pets lick themselves sometimes they don't need to be ingesting that so us using a natural shampoo and also a finishing spray or this hydrating spray is a way better option much safer for both of us and honestly you guys this smells luxurious the spray on it whoo the spray nozzle on it, I would say, does kind of come out more like a stream than dispersed. So them saying to spray it in your hands and then rub it on your dog, I think is a good idea. But this is going to condition, hydrate, moisturize their coat while also adding a little bit of scent as well. Like the shampoos, they all have a matching hydrating spray that go together, which is amazing. I absolutely have been loving the lavender along with all of the properties that the shampoos and hydrating mists on their own provide. The lavender scent is very calming for pets. So if you're a groomer and you're not really sure which one to try, I honestly would go with the lavender. I love the scent. Um, lavender often gives me a headache, but because this is a natural derived lavender scent, I actually love it and I don't find it overpowering. Um, she looks great. Let's see. Let's smell her. She doesn't... She maybe has a slight hint of lavender, but not very much. Not super overpowering. Just maybe a little bit if you really smell her. Something else that I will mention is that I only shampooed and rinsed her once just to see how it goes. Um, lots of the time groomers will shampoo, rinse, shampoo, rinse. So she actually does still have a little bit of kind of a dirty dog smell. So if you notice that that is a problem with any shampoo you're using, whether it's this one or another one, try the double shampoo. And why not have a shampoo that can calm the pets that you're grooming as well? In conclusion, if you have any other questions regarding these products, feel free to either leave a comment down below or you can send me an email with the email provided in the description box. But I think your best bet is actually just to go to the Petals and Tails website. They have an amazing frequently asked question page, which will probably answer most of your questions that you're wondering about. But also they have a live chat, you can communicate with them, they are very responsive. Any of you that are new to CBD oil and you're kind of unsure about it, you're wondering, is my dog going to get high from this? The answer is no. These products have no THC, so they will not get a high from it. And again, you can find a lot of that clarifying information on their website. I want to thank Petals and Tails so much for collaborating with me on this video today. If you are interested in buying any of the products you've seen today or on their website, there will be a discount code in the description box below when you're checking out. Once again, they ship to Canada now, many other countries. These products with the CBD oil in them are legal in all 50 states, in Canada and many other countries as well. I am very excited to talk in the future about some of their other products, the oil, the paw balm, etc. I will be featuring those in upcoming videos, so look out for those. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I hope that these products can be a help to your pets or your clients' pets as well. Thanks so much for watching. See you in my next video.